but we're going to move from that, man. Kaz, you got this uh, box that's been sitting here. Yeah, speaking of this gremlins. Whole, whole ten- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You know. Speaking of gremlins, uh, yeah, this is NECA Gremlins 2, the new batch. The ultimate brain gremlin. Remember the smart gremlin? Yeah. The one that talks. He, he yeah, organized it all. Talk. Yeah, so the city's so nice, they named it twice. Yeah. Precisely. <laughs> Precisely. Yeah, even though I know it wasn't his voice, Kelsey, I hear Kelsey Grammar. That was wasn't it. Kelsey Grammar? Right. I don't think it, it was. was. It wasn't? No, I, I'm was it? I'm not sure. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Check, yeah, yeah, is it? Back check. I hope it is. Who was the voice of ultimate brain, the brain gremlin, the smart motherfucker? I would like it to be Kelsey Grammar. Yeah, I, I want it to be Kelsey Grammer so bad. But if it's not, it was a damn close um, rendition. Yeah, yeah. Tony Randall. Oh, oh, close oh my God. Close yeah, 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 okay. yeah. That's dope, though. No, that is dope. Yo, Felix yeah, Unger. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <God. laughs> he killed That's pretty much where Kelsey got his thing from. It right, right. Okay, so. Indeed, indeed. As you can see, this is uh, a <laughs> motherfucking grammar. Wow, the, look at the oh, leisure he's suit. Brown. The straight yeah, 80s he's leisure brown. suit. He right. got a leisure suit. He got his uh, right. zoom suit. He got, he got a dicky on right yeah. there. <laughs> 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 like, a, like a good he's kid so in the 80s. <laughs> oh, I love him. <laughs> That's the same suit that Sally was wearing in, um, what's that, um, Commando? Oh, you are right. It's the exact same suit. Wow. The detail is so good. Like, their skin is kind of shiny. It's really cool. Because they're real. Yes. <laughs> exactly right. They come to life at night. Exactly. You got some weight to them. Dude. What, would, what would happen if you woke up at night and all your toys was moving around? Go back to sleep. Would it be like Indian in the cupboard, yeah. like, or Toy Story, or like, Puppet like, like Master? What, what if, what right, if, <laughs> or Small Soldiers. Oh, small Soldiers, yeah. You're dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it Toy Story, Puppet Master, Small Soldiers? <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm I, I, I don't know, man. It's a good <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> how how bad is your freak out upon seeing all your toys move and talk? I probably I probably wouldn't trip. I probably want you to not right away. Lace up the boots. Do them puppet master shit. Like, all right, well, y'all, y'all ain't killing me because I'll yeah. beat your motherfucking ass. I'm the master. I ain't scared right. of shit. A, <laughs> so y'all gonna work for me or what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, so right. right. Yo, nigga, right. I freed you. Yo, yo, yo son. We're too. not here for that. <laughs> Yeah, we're not playing this game. <laughs> yo, he no. got the straight glasses. Yo, this is crazy. I am. So, homie, what's y'all? Y'all my minions. What's going on? <laughs> now, I'm going to give y'all locations of banks. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> not locations of banks. Oh, my God. Guys, I, go ahead. <laughs> I think I feel that way about my figures. I have, like, a Pennywise face Yikes. that I look at. And I have a Deadpool head. I mean, I have a bunch of figures, but not probably not as many as you. And mine are more stagnant. They're not posable. So, yeah, I don't know. I would probably be like, hey, man, we're so, cool. I, I, exactly. I've been here for you guys. I gave you like, a place I to stay. Like, I played with you. Right. I gave you a place <laughs> to stay. Like, we're all good. Hey, I remember yeah, the movie, yeah. the, the 80s B horror movie Dolls, man. Oh, my I God. Dolls? That. Yeah, that's yeah, another yeah, one. Dolls that, that was too. crazy. Yeah, yeah those, doll, those dolls, those dolls, those people didn't do nothing to them dolls. No, <laughs> them dolls just decided. But those motherfuckers look creepy though. They yeah, they, they, those like, dolls yeah. just decided. Yeah, those <laughs> <laughs> your ass going out. <laughs> right, right. right. Well, that's the weird part. They, they came in creepy. They looked at <laughs> them dolls. A lot of those like, toy stories would be the toy was possessed or this old artifact. Or yeah, something right. Like shit. Annabelle yeah. that you shouldn't have anyway in your house. Yeah, true, true. true. Right. I want a pet for my that child. never been investigated. Exactly. Do you know? Do you know what that was about? So the um, Mogwai is a curse. Mogwai. So the dude. So I was right all along. He no, <laughs> no. I was right all along. No, I, I had to clear right. peace with them and, yeah. and their curse. We're doing so the poo party. The, the way the Mogwai works is is that mm. you have to like you have to gift it to somebody, mm. and they have to willingly accept it. Wow. Oh. So that's why once you got Magua, that's why like Gizmo gets attached to you. Aww. Once you got Gizmo, he not going. He's a parasite. No, <laughs> wow, he's a bro. <laughs> not, right, he's the gatekeeper. He's the gatekeeper. He's, he's the, the gatekeeper. gatekeeper? Because so who's more horrid than you believe? <laughs> yeah, it was no, like but Magua protected you. No, how the Magua protect you if he get water? 
But he didn't want the water. He talking to you. Mike. He Where said, Mike at, Jay? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you up there projecting? Come on. Right, you be putting it down. <laughs> Yo, it came, with brain, it came with brain juice. Why he working? Oh, Why he working on that? Yeah. What the came with brain it, juice, fam? Can I see it? <laughs> you gotta get, we you have to, get you some brain juice. <laughs> you some brain juice. <laughs> While you um He's a genius. If you remember Mogwai, oh, well Gizmo rather. Gizmo didn't want to um Gizmo didn't want to get wet. He didn't want to eat out. He didn't want to break yo, any yo. rules. All right, all right, there I go. There it I was go. always accidental. Somebody else did it to him. True, true. So Gizmo was trying to protect because he knew what would happen. True. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Ma- there are some the, good the, the ones. Mar- the Mogwai Marauder will stay in retirement. This motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep Mog- right. well, you can just change it to the Gremlin. The Gremlin something. <laughs> It, it's not a good pipe. That's it's classy. Not a Remember good. Remember, he said he sat in that family classics chair. And he, he did was, sit in the family classics <laughs> chair. He just true. sat there with that pipe talking about, come on in one time, won't you? <laughs> I love the Gremlins so much. Hey, that second movie was weird as fuck. <laughs> I loved it. I but, thought it was cool. Yeah. I, I, yeah I but it followed cool. the history because they were in a mechanic, like a technological yeah, city yeah, yeah, building, yeah, yeah, and they it. were fucking it up. Yeah. yeah. Destroying everything as it goes. Yeah. It made I mean? sense. It was one of the, yeah, it, it, it made sense where it was like a, a sequel that it didn't really fuck up the franchise. No, it was. I felt the first one was almost a horror movie, and the second one was more of an adventure comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah, yeah. it was. Like it, it was a little children. more sc- a scary parts in the yeah. first one. Like oh, the first, first, oh, the first one was fucked I up. I love the first one because yeah, theater. it was a horror. Yeah. Yo, when it was in the Christmas tree and you just see the eyes yeah. glowing behind her. Yo. Yeah. But she she murked them gremlins. That was some realness. She, she put it in the blender. She yeah. put one in the yeah. microwave. Yeah, 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 yeah. She wasn't playing no games. Yeah. yeah. Those, and those were the movies, man, where you had to show that streak of survival, right? Right. She yeah. fought back. And she was the mother. She was the motherfucking yeah. the leader of the family. First line of shit, defense. You know what I mean? So she had to put her shit on stripes. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, I mean, I mean real, real talk in horror history, but and, and I'm not trying to get us too, too, too sidetracked from what we was going to go on. Right. If you really think about it, man, not enough respect is given to the position of the final girl. True. The, fight, the, the final, final girl. girl, because that's that's what it's called. Like, in, in, oh, you think, the one that survived. The, the, ones, the, the one that survived. Yeah. Because if you think about horror, horror movie history, as, as no matter how skilled you are as a dude, no matter how buff you are, you got murked. The ladies survived and always came out on top. That's of Ellen them. Ripley. That's Sarah right, right, Connor. right. From all yeah. of them, all of them, and not enough props is given to the final gut. Like these are the people who survived the Jasons, Yo. the Michael Myers, the Freddies. Leatherface. If, if right. I may. Yeah, yeah. Go right ahead. You may. You got now, a mic. Some of those survival situations come by a bunch of bungling. They trip over something. It's 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 something real just out of place that they happen to like miss this sword swing or an, a, a, a knife hack you know what i mean well not jamie lee curtis <laughs> though no 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 a lot of it is just like spoofage and it's like okay. not sarah connor from terminator yeah either. and not sydney prescott on, sydney prescott was fucking movie, up those face depending <laughs> on the movie or some g shit but like horror movies like jason and all that mm. yeah they come on now yeah, nobody ever you, survived you jason are running in the force. Yeah. Are you going to trip that many times? Come on, man. And then stay when down. Your, when, is your, yeah. when is your survival skills kick in? Right. You know well, I mean, for, I mean, for you some. Leaping, you leaping over some things. You, you damn near doing parkour. Yeah, I'm, take, mm, I'm taking branches you know to the mean? face, getting cut up. I'm well, still going. Yeah. Well, if you notice, the final girl hardly ever is the one that falls in the woods. It's always like, the, the you know, first the, it's always like the it's other the first, ones. It's the first, it's the first ones. I'm, talk, I'm talking it's about. You, she's usually the person with the brains. Right, right. she's the like, survivor. Like, like, you think it's about a survival, the, so right. it's a thought process. Because boom, 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 that girl wow. who put on the sweater in Friday the 13th, too. That yeah. was genius. Yeah, it was. Yeah. That right. was genius. Right. You know what I'm saying, right. Jason, mommy is mad at you, like doing like the whole thing. Like, oh, mommy, that's you, mommy. Right, this motherfucker could take Mommy, you, mommy. Right, she she knew she knew he, he could take her head off at any second. Yeah. But she played, she stood in she there and played that card. Do, right, right. right. She, she played that card. Yeah, I said, got you, fam. You, you have you. those moments, but then you have them chicks that's like, okay, you should have been dead about a half hour ago. I feel but that way about, like, um, I know what you did last summer. Like, that, that era of, which... 
it wasn't tandem with Scream, but Sydney was smarter than anyone yeah, from. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Sydney Prescott was <laughs> yeah. definitely smarter than any other. Uh, and she would fight back. And hard. she fought yeah, back she hard she fu- from she from the jump. She shot him. She shot a bunch of them. Yeah, she because <laughs> <laughs> it was always a different ghost face. Hey, that's a fact. Yeah, and that's she she yeah, she she plugged a few of them. Yeah, she she put a bullet in what at least two other ones. Yeah, yeah. To her me, own to cousin. me, she's yeah her cousin. The one she that shot was a cousin. Girl, that's the uh, short right. one. Yeah. <laughs> to me, she's the Jamie Lee Curtis. True. Yeah, yeah. In yeah, that, yeah. that first Halloween, yeah. when he showed up in her crib at the end, she snapped. Mm-hmm. She went the fuck off. That 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 uh that hanger grab that was a that was lucky as fuck man that that, yeah. that hanger stab that was oh that, that was, was that survival like that's yo, survival yeah. though that's Going. that survival oh no not his brain juice when no, the chips no, are down no. <laughs> not the brain juice <laughs> <laughs> do you remember when he first drunk the brain juice kind of yeah he was like yeah. he was like Argh. right he's like I would like to talk to you and tell you how I feel about it. <laughs> yeah. It was like what? Right, right. It was pretty fast. It was pretty fast. It was just, it just switched. He just yeah, that science lab was on point though. Had they not had the gremlins fuck they shit up, they could have changed the world. Uh, Maybe. Well, they was using gremlins to change the world. That was the problem. They, they were. Yeah, they that, were. That, mistake one. Like you, how you, you first of all, chaos. why? Why would you merge a spider with a gremlin? Yeah, yeah, true. with a gremlin. Why would you do that? Like a lot of them were accidental. I think they were doing it to themselves. But that spider was theirs. They did that shit. Yeah, that's gross. Well, they was all about crossbreeding no, 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 no. and multiplying in the first place. Yeah, make sure you don't. Yeah, for sure. They were. Yeah, I even mean, in the first movie. They yeah, was they, it was about, experimentation. Yeah, come on. Now. Which is yeah. where the which is the um um the Montauk project and all that comes from, which is where Stranger Things come from too. That. No! See, he already yeah, trying to get away. He's trying to escape. He's, he's trying, trying to, to escape to cause chaos. He's trying to get to the lights. He as wants long to dismantle as, them. as long as we don't see him, he as long as he can move around, but he's trying to get to out of sight so he can just dip off. <laughs> sit ass, sit your ass. Down. Right, sit your ass. <laughs> sit still, bro. <laughs> Which makes sense. I'm sorry. It makes sense that it was so many of them that kind of ended up being experimented on. Because even in the first movie, it was enough of them to fill a movie theater. Yo, because remember they fell in the swimming pool. Yeah, right. They fell in the swimming pool. Yeah, those stripes jumped in the swimming pool. Yeah, Yeah, those stripes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. those stripes ones was evil. Yeah, Stripe. Yeah, Stripe was that dude. He was. Stripes is always the fir- like. That's like that's what I mean about the curse. It's always the same order. Mm. Stripes is first, and then he brings out the rest, and it's right. always the same personality over and over again. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah. touche, touche. They really get into it in other like if you go into like Gremlin lore. Yeah, yeah, other media. I, I know there's a lot of German fol- folklore. Yeah, that's where. Yeah. Uh, uh, f- uh, from Gremlins, especially from World War II, because that they would say that was the reason planes wouldn't. Take off. Things were happening. Yeah, oh, wow. and that's that's where that Bugs Bunny episode came from, where he, fought, where he fought the where he fought Bunny. the gremlin. Wow. Yeah. Well, Bugs Bunny, Bugs um, Bunny. Twilight Zone did that episode. Yeah, the Twilight yeah, Zone did it. Yeah. Dude, yeah. that was Shatner on that plane. Yeah, like, yeah. I love that episode. <laughs> yeah. Look, man, I've been a gremlin lore fanatic, and yeah, dude, we gotta reenact and do that shit because that's like I want to make it horror though. Did you see that glad the gremlin movie I told y'all to watch? Which what was it called? it called? Um, the one, um, it's got Hit Girl in it, and it's like some like something in the sky or something. Oh, oh, uh, the cloud thing. Yeah, yeah, cloud. yeah, yeah. I forgot what it's called. It has um, Chloe Grace. Murray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's on Hulu. Wow. It's, it's a Hulu, Hulu original. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a Hulu original. Yeah. It's, it's crazy because yeah, it, I saw some of it, I didn't finish it, but yeah, it started, it's nuts. It's pretty it nuts. seems like it's basic, but it's literally exactly what we talking about. It's a World War II era story, mm. and randomly in the midst of this, them in a plane doing some shit, oh, a fucking wow. gremlin's on the plane. Oh hell no! Nah. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Like from what I, from what I, I didn't finish it. Envy finished it. I only yeah, got halfway I through. It. I was, it, it was just late for me. It's so super ridiculous, which is what makes it so good because they didn't take themselves too seriously. They, they gave you a fucking gremlin. It's a fucking gremlin on a plane, and they're 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 dealing. With, they're in the plane trying to avoid alien. I mean, enemy territory, no. getting shot down by other planes and random screws and shit. Just it keep, hey, where would this screw come from? <laughs> no, like, like, <laughs> absolutely not. terrifying. And they're, no. just, and they're just like getting mad and annoyed. <laughs> no, if I'm on a plane, it's a random screw just popping out the plane. No. I'm freaking out. Eject, I, I, eject. Instantly, I'm already oh on freak God. out mode. <laughs> but see, that's the thing. <laughs> In, in it, <laughs> nah, you good. <laughs> I'm automatically freaking the fuck out. So they're in the air with this. Yeah, no. And Mischief nonstop. And that's how they're uh, acting. They're like, the dude is like, yo, you know the story of a gremlin. Ain't no fucking gremlin. I, 
<laughs> and then like shit just, hey, I thought this, I just left here and this was working just fine. Oh, really, was it? Was it working? <laughs> they were like, nobody mm. believed the guy who kept saying something ain't right. See, just like how we were talking before about stuff being deep in the ocean and talking about space and dinosaurs and shit. Okay. Hey, the scenarios that Rod Serling used to create in the Twilight Zone, right. absolutely the fuck not. Oh, the guy <laughs> who broke his glasses when he was the last person alive last to read. No. That's fucked up. He was like, there was time now. There's time now. There was, there was time. time. <laughs> there, there was not time. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, the Twilight Zone set up some. I, I've probably seen every episode of Twilight Zone at least twice. Yeah, it, Twilight Zone gets you. To yeah, Rod Ross, to Ross Serlin was uh, was amazingly creative yes. in some of those stories. Um, he was ahead of his time. He was. I like the. Even though the, they had it in the Twilight Zone movie, the boy, you know, the boy who could do anything and help yes. that town hostage. Yeah. I like the yeah. original one yeah. better yes. because it was <laughs> way darker. Because yes, it was. It was way because he was like turning people into like really random like chairs and wagons yes. and shit. Yeah. It was more accurate actually when they parodied it in The Simpsons. You're right. It was yeah. when when Bart it, had it. Yeah, right, yeah. Because yeah. he would send them to the fucking cornfield. Like that was, and they just be lost. I'm sorry. <laughs> they just be lost. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. That, no. Hey, is WandaVision <laughs> a version of that? Kind of, that that, kind that of. actually reminds yeah, me a lot kind of that. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, kind, kind of. of yeah. yeah, very much so. Yeah, I would say. I would say. Yeah. Then finally, he's right. together. Yeah, I'm really interested to see what they My do. There he is, for real. <laughs> hell. Tony Randall. Happy New Year. We didn't really get to see Scarlet Witch do Scarlet Witchy shit mm-hmm. in um, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Magic. Oh, now you're retracting? No, I just said we didn't get to see. Retracting what? I don't know what you're about to say. See? <laughs> it's the mischief. Yeah, yeah, grown man. Right, they ain't gonna be. Remember the one back there used to fall all the time. All the yeah, time. Yeah, he was. Hey man, I, I don't know what's going on. Right, he, he just gonna go ahead and put him back in the box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wouldn't it be crazy if like this stuff do end up like, but they all come alive at once everywhere? L- like fucking. Me- oh fucking. Uh, no, thank you. Maximum overdrive. Right. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, I hey, agree maximum with that. overdrive was a dope concept. I love the concept was dope. That was a dope fucking concept. It, it was. They, it needs Break today's technology. It Break does. Down. Break down the it concept. It needs today's technology. So in the book, Maximum Overdrive, it was a little more explained than yeah. in the show. I mean, in the, in the movie. But basically, like, there was a, there was a conscious electromagnetic life force, mm-hmm. life being, that was traveling with this comet. And it ended up, like, you know how electromagnetic energy can spread. It ended right. up coming to Earth and getting caught into the storm and then coming down and spreading throughout, throughout all the different electronic yeah. devices. And in, in, in that, there was no end to it. I mean, it eventually stopped, but the time period from when it went to where it ended was fucking... No it was a long time, yeah, as I remember no from telling. the story. It was, it was a long, a long time. time. You're talking about mechanics versus the life of human endurance. Yeah, and all yeah. That. yeah, yeah. no. Like yeah, in the transferability. You know. yeah, it, it would be I mean, worse now than it was yeah, when Maximum Overdrive shit. came out. We got Alexa. Everything we is got depended a, upon it. Yep. Everything. Your cell phone, your iPod, whatever. It's Ultron. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, no. And no. there was some horror movie they did. Um, in the 90s, that was very ship. similar. They were on a ship. Oh, Virus. Virus. But that was Virus oh. with the biomechanical oh. thing that was taking over It was people. another life form yeah. that was energy, and it was using, it was murder people with technology. That's actually an early comic book movie. That was a comic mm. first. Yeah. Oh, Virus wow. was a comic first. Yeah, that was the, it was a Dark Horse comic. Yeah. Huh. yeah that was was dark, dark Horse had a lot sense. of properties get options that people didn't know were comics. Like, people didn't know Tank Girl was a comic until Tank the movie Girl. Yeah, came no, out. Tank Girl is the I, mean, I love Tank, Tank Girl. Girl. I, I yeah. love Tank Girl. And Obviously. that technology Not the movie, was advanced. But the, lo- the comic book was good. The comic book was good. Yeah, the comic good. book was good. The, even, okay, I even like with the movie, the makeup was really advanced for that time period. Because it like we were talking about Dick Tracy before. And she looked it, like Tank Girl. She looked just like her. It was crazy. Her. Yeah, just yeah, like Tank Girl. Yeah, she looked yeah. just like her. Yep. Like, that was a role that Madonna could have played back then. Yeah, you know? I agree with that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Like definitely. the desperately seeking Susan Madonna. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that would have been it. The eight, 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 before she became an icon, Madonna. When yeah. she was just yeah. a when she was just a pop star on the ride. When she was right. just a wild, well, yeah, she was just wilding out, having fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The girls just want to have fun, era Madonna. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but before she became, I mean, she became an icon, and that you know, good for her. Yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah, good man. for her. <laughs>
Good for her. <laughs> Pound go, 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 Madonna. No, girls just want to have fun. It's not Madonna. Uh, that's uh, Cindy Lauper. Lauper. Cindy Lauper. Right, I had to think about like, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that, that was all in the same grouping for Material me. Material girl. Material girl, Madonna. Yeah, material girl. <laughs> That uh, uh, Papa don't preach Madonna. Right. <laughs> the, you know the, the low key teenage pregnancy song that. <laughs> True. That was a that was a major national hit. They made fun of that <laughs> yeah, on that American was, Dad. Yeah, they made they made fun of that on American Dad. They definitely made fun of that. Yeah. It makes uh, sense though. So you were saying. Yes. What was I saying? I forgot. We, we, <laughs> we hit so many. Can about Maximum so, Overdrive. Yeah. About what? Maximum Overdrive. Oh, it was dope. <laughs> yeah, I love Maximum yeah, Overdrive. I mean, like, there, so right now, if you think about all these, again, we're in that era where we, we're starting to see tons and tons of reboots of shit that's already been done. Mm-hmm. But they're not even rebooting the good shit. Yeah. But that's they scared. Like, why would you reboot the corny shit when the good shit is sitting there right next to it on the VHS show? Because you know that's all it is. They sat there and they was looking on the shelf and it was like, oh, we do own this movie. Let's remake it. No. Remake that other good movie. Mm-hmm. The one we liked. But you know, what if they fuck it up? They gonna fuck everything up anyway. It don't matter. Well, yeah, I mean, them redoing it. Well, since we're on a Stephen King thing. Uh, it. I mean, remaking it was a good choice. It was closer to finally seeing it be what it is. Yeah, exactly. Um, it, I, I love the revamp of it. Yeah, I, did, I was bored by the way he was scaring them. Yeah, I do think that that could have been switched up a little more because he was so scary. Yeah, like yeah. it could have, it there could have been variety in the ways he was popping up with them. I do agree with that. Yeah, it was like pretty straightforward, and it's like they didn't really even try to be imaginative in that. Like if you think about it, this this is and this is like the whole the whole Stranger Things thing. Each one of the people that 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 um he goes after Vecna goes after, he goes after them in a very unique way. It's like mm-hmm. it's like um, the same way that um, on Nightmare on Elm Street when um, Freddy Krueger goes after you. Yeah, Ve- Vecna attacked your 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 guilt. Your, yeah. Your, your, like if you your regret, your guilt and your regret is what Vecna and Stranger Things for is attacking. Mm. And this yeah. it's real interesting because yeah, it's like like you know it, it, these people aren't really they they're not bad they're not they, these people haven't done anything wrong. They just got guilt. They just got a huge amount of guilt. Is, he's and the shame wizard? Well, pretty see, much, yeah. <laughs> but, that's what, but that's what I mean, like the creativity Dang. behind that versus that you got this, you got this ancient being that feeds on fear. Yeah. He had these kids, these, and he used their fears as kids. They're now adults, and not one of these adults has overcome their childhood fear, which is kind of corny to me. Mm. So you didn't find what they're afraid of now. You ran with what they had as a fear as a kid, and they all reacted as if they were still kids. And I thought that was weak. You're I think talking about sh- it, right? Yeah, yeah. you should have yeah. went yeah. there. Like That's what I feel like, too. You beat the motherfucker, and then you grow up. You, st- you got, well... I got pistols. What's up? <laughs> right. Like, we could go outside, fam. Well, the, <laughs> the, the, can I see you outside? Right, right. Yeah, we go outside. I'm not scared of you. I whipped your ass as a child. My only two I comments about man. that are it when they left Derry as a do- if, if the more time you spend away from Derry, you forget what it That's is. That's right. That oh, is. no, I get that. that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. there's that. Okay, okay. But also... I do think in a realistic aspect, some people do remain scared of things they were afraid of as a child, as adult. But as an adult, would you react the same way? That's the question. It, if you're you, afraid if of drowning phobia. as a child, you'd be afraid of that shit as an adult unless unless you beat it. So but that's why I say one of them, at least one of them, would beat it. Would, I see what you're would saying. Would be over it. Like for example, if I'm the guy that's afraid of like the pussy sickness disease person. Yeah, yeah. If I see that as an adult. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab something. I'm gonna knock the fuck out of whatever that is. I'm yeah. not. Ah, don't right. Take me. Ah. It no, depends not, on if you ever beat it. Yeah. And phobia is strong, I guess. Yeah, that was. Some was, phobias are strong, and but I see what I see. It was both weak sides as a movie. Yeah. Some of them. I mean, as like, a movie, it was weak. I see. What it you're was saying. not interesting to watch adults be scared <laughs> yeah, of the same shit. That was the same shit for like, sure. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, buddy, there's a. <laughs> But I see you as a movie. I just yeah, wanted some I, real I, good I, scares. I agree. I agree. For sure. Yes, yeah. Maximum Buffer Drive. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that fucking... Am- the uh, machine gun... Oh, that uh, was brilliant. Yeah, and the Mack truck? Fuck no. Oh, with the, <laughs> oh, with the <laughs> green <laughs> goblin face? Man. Yes. 
literally with with <laughs> Willem Dafoe on the front of a truck. Yes. <laughs> like I'm not going. Yeah, that was the Green Goblin from like the from like that was classic Green Goblin yes. face too. And then, and then them then them dumb asses in this movie was like, we gotta get out of here. What? I'm not going outside. The trucks are so all she lined was up. She's standing there ass. screaming with the damn rocket launcher why in her hand. Why did she just run? Because she's. Uh, why wouldn't, movie, why wouldn't she why shoot? Why standing there and you seen all these bodies getting? Why, why, why wouldn't you shoot? Why wouldn't you shoot? So, with that being said, shout out to why we love James Cameron back in the day. Because he was the guy that put the woman in the situation, and instead of her being hysterical, yeah. he said, "I'm gonna get in this mech and I'm about to beat your ass. Uh-huh. Yeah. You, I'm gonna be the hero. I'm about yeah. to I'm about to fight you, Terminator. Like mm-hmm. his women were badasses. Yeah, this shoddy. is true. Hell yeah, like, they didn't I'm do gonna that. I'm fight you, aliens. Yeah, and let's them, go. Them whoop, whoop, whoop. And I think we we see that now, but like now we got a space where that's normal and mm-hmm. we forget about how big of a deal that was back then. Yeah, You know, was. like, that was, like, so intense. It was just like, yo, they were some of the best heroes on in film at that in time. Film, true. Yeah, true. true. Like, to this day, Sarah Connor probably could have whooped everybody. Yeah. yeah. Especially Terminator 2 Sarah Connor. Yeah, yeah she was mad Ooh. prepared in T2. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She was mad prepared. She and she didn't, like, she didn't <laughs> blink when the, nah. when the T2, uh, 2000 showed Ooh, up. Like, she, she just kept ass. it moving. She was like, about it. I, yeah, I would have had a, a, a little bit of a breakdown for a second. Hell see a, yeah. I see it. I see a man come out of liquid metal. I'm gonna freak out. Same thing with Ripley though. Mike, 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 Mike. Mike. You're a microphone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the re, the people in the TV land have to. Understand. You're right. right. <laughs> uh oh, he working on the volume. Do do. Chief Rocker, <laughs> Chief Rocker, J Rocker, in the front. Come on, who cares? I say with the what? It's as long as it's on funky. Get back the funk. I live with. Hello, the hello. There we go. Oh, there How it is. And yes. Go ahead, go ahead. Ooh. What I was saying was. To the best under the sun. Yeah, I'm the Lord yeah, yeah, yeah. Chief Rocker, number the one, Mr. Mr. Funky. Uh. Uh, Rocker. Y'all was talking about, what was it, Sarah Connor was that, yeah. that shorty? Nah, man. What was that uh, old girl with aliens? Ellen Ripley. Yeah. Ellen, yeah, Ellen Ripley. 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 <laughs> Let them square off. Her That's all her I wanted to say. Survived. Well, Ripley was not... Combat better with, yeah, she wasn't better with weapons. I got my money on Connor, dude. Yeah, she Connor was future. trained. She, she been, fight for the future. Oh, she oh, trained no. since 1987 yeah, oh, for this. No. <laughs> she fight oh, for no. the future. Oh, no. Because if you remember. Now, both is deadly threats. They are. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Both are deadly Ripley threats. Ripley was kind of just, thro- I'm sorry, was just kind of tossed into the situation. Ripley is, crea- a, way, is so. a very creative, Sir. on the fly thinker. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Very, That's very what creative, on the fly She's thinker. She's a force. Yeah, I'm very very you. creative on the fly. So yeah. she would she would definitely come up with something creative. Yeah, like like she exactly. she's. Uh, I'm not saying it wouldn't be a good fight. I just think overall, at the end, I'm picking Sarah Connor. Yeah, I at agree. the end, at the end. But Ripley gonna give as good as she get. Yeah, Rip, Ripley's gonna get beast. shot. That, yeah, that's the, uh, that, yeah, that is that's the other it. thing. That's all I'm waiting that's on. That's the other thing. Spock. As soon as she comes. Because later on, doesn't Ripley end up getting some of the... She kind of becomes like... The non-canon harder, story, yes. The, yeah. The like, she dies in um three. She dies yeah. in three and they clone her in... Right, and they, they clone and her. And then she's like right. a hybrid yeah. Yeah. after that. And because so, she had an egg in her. And right. they were trying to separate the egg from her, or the uh, embryo from her, yes. that was gestating in her when she died, because it, it was a queen. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And so they kept making versions of her because that the DNA was mixed together. Mm. And that last mm. one that they made of her was was able to her, yeah. right. that had Close that had super her. strength and had all the heightened abilities and was able and to baby the baby and all that <laughs> yeah, shit. And yeah. was acid proof and all that. Yeah. That's right. That's right. It was the worst. That yeah. last that that alien. I think it was Alien. Five or four? I don't know. And then there was Alien yeah, Covenant. Yeah, yeah. That's a. I like that story, even though it doesn't really make sense with the other stories. But Prometheus. and then Prometheus is in there. Prometheus in the is even worse. Yeah, I didn't like Prometheus. 
Um, I didn't not in, the, it not in the context of what we're supposed to be getting. It's, if mm-hmm. it was his own story, I'd be cool with it. But because you're saying that this is connected to all that other stuff, right. it didn't work. Like, when were they? W- w- James Cameron kept promising us that they would go to whatever planet L, yeah. blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah 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 blah, and we just we never he never takes us there. The pro- like he, we're supposed to go to the planet with the, the mining colony. Yeah, we're, we're supposed to see that. Yeah. And we never where it started. Seen it. We where never it all made it started. There. We never made it. And we it never there. really made it to the engineer's home world either. No. Yeah, we thought that's we true. were there. It wasn't the home world. Yeah, I liked Prometheus. I saw Prometheus in theaters. I liked it because I didn't know anything. Like, kind of like Final Destination 5, where it ended up being a prequel. I didn't know anything yeah, about yeah, right. it. So that's I just, kind of, that's kind of why I like that's to go into Final movies without uh, going into. I yeah, don't if you know, don't know too any, many trailers. Yeah. See, I, I messed up because I was so into the alien stories yes. yeah. that I had read books and I watched. I read the script, exactly. the oh, original script for that yes. movie. Okay. The script that they later scrapped yeah. and then did this. Wait, the original script for which movie? Um, Prometheus. Pro, um, Prometheus. Prometheus. Okay. Really? So the original script for Prometheus, which is old as dirt. Yeah. This is something that they had wrote way back and this had been circulating amongst people for a long time. So wow. what was different? It was it was more authentic to what it was really happening. So the engineers used um, the xenomorphs as um, basically like what insects are. They um, terraform planets. If you may pay attention to how the xenomorphs work, they create atmospheres. They do. They create this whole ecosystem inside of their hive. All that slimy stuff over time will become vegetation and will pro- and will produce like full forms of of a whole planet that can we, we can breathe on. Mm. So that's how they went around making planets and seeding planets was with um, veg- with these with these little ants. That's basically what they were like. Mm. Their original form, they were a lot smaller and they would dig through the ground and he used humanoid um, humano- humanoid beings as slaves. Like we don't know if they were humans or not. Some of them were humans, some of them was other species, but they used them to, to kind of harvest and to farm the xenomorphs. And what one one day, uh, um, two guys got into it inside of the hive, and one slave killed another slave and left his body there. Oh shit! And so the xenomorphs have this unformed entity in their hive, and then they start to fuck with it. Right. And they develop a first they develop a connection like they have an interest in like one of the xenomorphs basically gets a bloodlust after seeing after tasting his body. He goes on, this one xenomorph goes on a rampage and starts killing slaves. The rest of the hive contain him. The queen realizes what happens to him and says, and so said, you know, starts figuring out what can we do instead. And then they realize, okay, we've been trapped in here, so now we can use these slaves to modify ourselves to get out of here. Mm. And so the queen starts this process of like tricking this one of the slaves into being trapped in there and then they start to evolve when they mess when she figures out how to get this guy pregnant oh wow and then the end result is that you've got Gross. the first larger xenomorph that's humanoid because you know they only they take on whatever form or whatever they're made from mm-hmm. but in their Gross. natural state before they mix with other species they were just these like insect like aliens that would just yeah. do their little hive thing and just live like ants, my, like minding their business. Mm. So that story was was about this human that had been on like the on one of the slaves in this colony, and what happens when he's trapped in the fucking colony because they can't leave the um, space because then the, the engineers will kill him. Mm-hmm. So they're in there during their shift, and this fucking one xenomorph that tasted the blood of the dead slave is ravaging, trying to kill him off. He's trying to stay alive, and then the rest is like what starts the story that leads to them becoming attached to humans. And that's when the engineers realize what happened and said, "Well, now that we have this new thing, let's figure out what to do with it." Mm. You know, and so that's where they start using the larger. So what's wrong with that movie? I don't know. Just like everything else, <laughs> just, <laughs> what's wrong? What, he said, "What's wrong with that one?" Just like yeah, Jack Zack Snyder having it. Just like they changed the Justice League and everything else. These people, they get these stories that are really good. And then they say, no, we're just, that's too much story. We're going to simplify it. It's like, no, people, I mean, fucking Blade Runner is like a cult classic. Yeah, Yeah. but it didn't make the numbers. It made enough numbers to get a sequel. True. And And get an anime. Years later. But yes, it did. You're right. Yeah, like that. At the time, they didn't understand it. They didn't, they don't understand, like they don't, they didn't understand Big Trouble in China 
mm-hmm. when it came out. So they cut True. the budget after he was in the middle of him making it. Oh, that's for real. real. That's why in the beginning, the beginning scene where the truck runs over at Lopan, yeah. they did that was filmed one of the last scenes they filmed. Mm. So if you notice throughout the rest of the movie, Lopan is floating and he can float through stuff. Right. That he didn't float through that truck. The truck hit a doll and the doll fell down. Of course, mm. right, right, right. Because they didn't have budget anymore at that Seven point. Seven foot guy wow. with light coming That's out rough. of his mouth. It's bogusness. Like, like love that movie. That type of stuff is like we watch them with good concepts. Then when the movie comes out, people love it, and then they sit there and brag later. Yeah, we knew this was good from the beginning. No, you mm. didn't. No, you didn't, because you didn't trust it. They didn't. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that's what. That's the all full circle to the fact that they're making all these reboots of crappy material when they've got great material out there. That's true. And really, right now, Disney is the harbinger of of intellectual property. <laughs> I was gonna say of the apocalypse. They, <laughs> they quite they, possibly. They got, they got, they got <laughs> him too. <laughs> Son of Jarrell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're saying Harbinger just brought that. No, nope, well, because they've got, they've got. You don't realize how how many major intellectual properties that Disney owns that they have not done anything with. Oh, so definitely. Besides Predator, the fact, Alien. Well, Predator, they're doing though. Yeah, they're doing Predator. They're still True. going with well, that. Well, Prey, right? Yeah, that's a sequel. Yeah, Prey yeah. or a prequel, sequel, whatever. Mm. But they own the rights, like they own the rights to Dragon Ball Z. They own the rights to Tron, which they like. People right. have been begging them to do. Mm. They own the rights to um the John a, Carter a Tron series. Thing, uh, not that long. No, they, they stopped production because, because of Star Wars and yeah, Marvel, yeah. Marvel. And well, all but that. the one that had J- Jeff Bridges in they it. Stopped the they stopped it. Why? That they did the one movie and they said we're not going to do any more because we got these other franchises. We got Star Wars. Oh, 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 okay. But that that one movie came. Okay, so that one that was then the, it stopped. The same okay. thing with John Carter. John Carter of Mars came out and they were supposed to do a series with that. And then they, that's when, like, so Marvel is what stopped um, Tron. Mm. Then Star Wars is what stopped John Carter. And so they got all these intellectual properties to these series that we've never seen before. We've mm. never seen the whole John Carter. Never. There's never been a good live action John Carter. It was a cartoon. Let's go. They've got, um, they've got. Isn't that a, and right now, John Carter now qualifies as public domain because other people are, are, there's other stuff non-Disney related, like the comic is not related to, and it's called John Carter of Mars. It's public domain, but just like Disney does anyway. It's t- yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'm yeah. just saying, but anyone, 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 anyone else can still, can, st- is, can still, maybe not I mean, the they, movie. They're they making the Winnie the Pooh horror movie. I don't. They I just, are. I don't. And they did the banana splits, but man, that shit was weird. Sure. Hold on, hold on. That was weird. I mean, that shit was weird. It. Is Pinocchio horror? Huh? Why? Because he. Oh, need that Pinocchio flesh? movie is supposed to be a horror. I don't know. It looks. Oh. I need to. I just, he, he only wants flesh. flesh. <laughs> yeah, he that, only that, wants flesh. That was a real huh? poster. I don't Why know. Why would they use that tagline? I don't know. <laughs> what the I, I am vexed. Wow. <laughs> I am total. So. All that stuff like you talking about, like they have so much material that's original, but they bought it all to make sure nobody else could use it and make it. And just so that whenever they get to it, they can get to it. But it also has the rest of these companies ain't willing to experiment and explore. Like so Amazon and Netflix, you know, they do their original content. But we're talking about cinema, Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood ain't 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 going. Mm-hmm. Like I mean, we sitting there watching Universal talking about going back, they still wanna do the fucking monster verse with um which, I, I which i'm not opposed to it just needs to be done right and take that horrible tom cruise mummy oh movie out God. of it no one asked that, for it that shit no was ass crackers it. that was the only one that i didn't like out of the ones they that, did that no shit was ass yeah Dra- dracula unbound was nice yeah, I, liked dracula the, was I like dracula good, unbound and they the, did it that benicio del toro wolfman the wolfman that, that was, was not, that yeah, was pretty decent yeah I was did come out. Yeah. yeah. Those yeah, were good movies. That. Those wow, were good movies. Yeah, that, man. yeah the Mummy one like is that. the only bad one. The Dracula oh. Unbound was decent and the Wolfman was decent. But we were on the verge of having um what's his name play um Dr. Jekyll in um in the Ooh. story. He was in the Ooh. Mummy. Um what's the guy that's playing Zeus and Thor? Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. Oh. Russell Crowe. Oh. Oh. He probably would have been right. That would have been. She kind of like that in real life. Yeah. So he probably would have Because that was the yeah. next movie they yeah. were going to do. in his prime, young prime. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know who could do it now, though? Jude Law. Jude, oh, yeah. Jude Law could, could do Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Well, really we're about good. to get a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde in um, the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. So. Mm. 
We're going to get it anyway. Yeah, they doing that again. <laughs> they said yeah. doing that again. <laughs> no, nah, I'm with I'm I'm okay with that cuz again, that's one of them stories I w- I would have liked. I want them to remake. I would rather them do that than Indiana Jones. Yeah. I don't want a sequel to it. I yeah. want to I mean a reboot. You know, as as much of a fan of Indiana Jones and I don't need another one. And I'm a fan of Indiana mm. Jones. I don't need another one to be nah. honest with you. I'm, I really don't. They, exactly. To me, they could. They, they, to me, they could have stopped with Last Crusade. Him and yeah. him and him and Connor. That was a proper. Ending that was a to proper story. ending because we know to they're the gonna story. live forever. Yeah. I mean, with these other movies, Tomb Raider, you know, Uncharted. Even though these are video games, it's still like take that legacy on. Yeah. So just seeing like, like. Yeah, we can't. It's so much filming you could do for so much other stuff. So many other things. Me. You know what I mean? It's yeah. going to be mostly it's, CGI for Just let it go. That's what I was going to say. I, go. That's what makes me nervous is the overuse of CGI. Like, Deep we don't. Hey, do some fucking practical effects. Please hire some props people. Well, he's a Model T. There, he's a Model T Ford, effects. and they're going to make him look like a new Ford. Yeah, it just. Yuck. Do practical. <laughs> practical effects are amazing. <laughs> No Gross. thanks. No <laughs> thanks. You over there flipping to something. What's that? Gross. Oh, I'm, I'm looking through the uh, the Monsters of the Multiverse. That's what I'm What's looking that? through. Is it the Handbook of Monsters? It is. A, it pretty much is. In is the that, multiverse? Is, so yep. that's the, um. what's that from um, this Fantastic is, Beast? Uh, no, nah, this is. Like this a grimoire of beasts? Yeah, this is pretty much a, a grimoire of monsters that I could throw at people when I, when I want to. You know, whenever I feel like in my campaign. I campaigns. wish I could throw Vecna, I people. choose you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that's essentially what it is. I go they through this and I and I pull an ash. I'm like, I choose the scariest thing in this book. So <laughs> that's something I would do, because the Pokemon um, fan base has aged. Yeah. Imagine a realistic, like with real it's monsters. Ter- Pokemon are terrifying when yes. you translate them to re- a, a mouse. That could put twenty thousand volts through your body. That's the least that's scary a, of them. That's and that's not even yeah, the yeah, scariest right. one. The scary. What? Coughing, wheezing. What's that? The snake. Um, Psyduck. Psyduck, oh, man. The, the rock snake. Oh, I <laughs> yeah. forgot his name. Yeah, that but shit. I, know what you're I would about, love yeah. to do that. A live, like really serious a version. Real Pokemon. It's but Pokemon. It, but it's not, them, and I wouldn't even make it like the show where they're like scary. running around battling in a in, a, in an I, arena. I would make it on some real shit, like some motherfuckers. Like again, just like how they did Battleship, you got to find a creative way to do it. So you got these monsters yeah. in this space, and then they escape, and they're you're trapped in this space with them, and you got to catch them all. Yeah. Oh damn. Before they escape. Those would be some real little monsters. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. So you know, it, it's Pokemon out there that are judo masters. What the fuck am I supposed to do with a, <laughs> with that Hitman Lee just jump out the shadows? You throw the me. ball at it. I, yeah. I'm just a I'm just a person. I don't got the ball. I ain't in this shit. I'm just going because you gotta think about the world, like how how the Pokemon world exists. They just walk past them motherfuckers in everyday life. Hey, you yeah. worried about that? When Mewtwo shows up floating over the city and people start just disintegrating, right. exploding. Yeah. Exactly. See, I'm I'm worried about all of it on all levels because because once again, it's shit that hang out in shadows and in garbage. You open your garbage can, a wheezing come out at you and spit poison in your face. <laughs> right, yeah, so, no. and it melts, your, it melts you. <laughs> right, it melts you. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you can see why. Hunter, <laughs> man. It's a fucking ghost dude in my mirror. I can't do shit. I don't have, I'm just a regular dude. Once again, I'm not aware that the Pokeball exists. This is a scary world you build, building, Ambie. I don't want to live You're in your just world. You're trying to live your life. You're like, damn, I can't even Right, you can't do basic shit. Like, Pokemon <laughs> precludes you from doing basic shit. You can't ride the same bike. thing with yeah. You can't do shit. Really. Can't do shit because they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Yeah, no. They, no. Right. Collect them all. <laughs> right. No. <laughs> no. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, or you die. No. Right. You know. I, mean, I guess I'm not, man. The thing about Cabin in the Woods. I would oh, like to see a prequel yeah. to that where we show how they catch them. Oh, oh yeah, all the creatures. All the creatures. That's, yeah. a, that's a story. Y'all got fucking Man. good material, but y'all keep going back to hey, the same. Cabin that, in the that, that is so one of Joss Whedon's good. best projects. It, it is. really is. <laughs> Cabin in the Woods was so slept on. And I remember seeing it in the theater and being like, yo, see this. Because people be like, oh, it looked corny. And then years later, people were like, oh, my God, it was so yeah, good. I like, didn't yeah, know how they them. It did not look those. like it looked in the trailer. It did. It was the nothing trailer like was the trailer. The trailer was a spin like a mug. It was mm. not, and that's smart. Because why? Like, if you're... Trailers are bullshit a lot of the time anyway. 
So if you're going to spin something, spin it like that. Yeah, so you're I go in completely unaware, like, oh, completely. shit, I thought this was a stupid slasher horror. Yeah, nope. <laughs> Surprise. Man. So imagine that, like, they get, there was a team of people, because everybody that worked in that in that facility was so calm with mm-hmm. these creatures. They weren't, they were like, yeah, you know, such and such. They were having fun. Yeah. So, but who caught yeah, them? Yeah, because how could they put, how do you put the genie back in the box? Okay, I unleashed right. this horror on you right. to okay. accomplish this thing. How do I get these fuckers back in the box? Right. That's and what I'm saying. There's right. a, there's a, there's what you would call a damage control. I would call it, that's what I would call the movie, damage control. Okay. That would be the team that catches these things. Mm-hmm. Man, that's a lot of victims. That's like a turn to a fair Ghostbuster. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, because, yeah, okay, yeah, I unleashed the zombie family. But I'm talking about even before you, you unleashed them, who yes. caught them first time? Right, who right. caught But Yeah, who caught But it, you could tell several stories. You could even tell, one, okay, the agency is here. We've unleashed this, and this is the first time, that, like the first time they unleashed something. Right. The story of them getting it back yeah. in the box. It's so many stories. You are right. That's, that's a whole lore that's right there. That's a whole universe. The from ca- from catching them to keeping them contained. Yes. I would yeah. write the shit out of that type of story. Yeah. Yeah. They want to go back to the same old shit. Scooby-Doo, like you said. Like, yeah, no. like, right, because, right, okay, they're doing an Adam's Family and uh, the Monsters. I, Adam, I don't trust Rob Zombie with the monsters. Is it, oh, he's doing the monsters. He's that doing the kind monsters. Kind of scares me. Yeah, I don't and know. Like, like Rob Zombie comedy. Is. Here's the thing. I, I, oh. I'm one of those people that feel Rob Zombie's uh, horror stuff is overrated because the, the to me the Firefly family that that, that just couldn't have happened. Like it, maybe in the '60s it could have happened. It couldn't have happened in the ages that he put them in. The, the, the FBI uh. would have been all over. Oh, all over. You could because he was setting it in the real world. He was saying like, okay. It's there's no way that that many people go missing in that small town and yeah. no one right. no, over which, which time. What story are you talking about? Uh, but the Firefly the, family, which right, is House, House of a Thousand, thousand Corpses, corpses. the Devil's Rejects to yeah. Three from Hell. Well, they yeah. did get caught up. They though. got caught, but there's no way they couldn't have gotten that far. No in the 80s, yeah, could. way. Not in the 80s. That movie was not set in the 80s. The first House of a Thousand Corpses is set in the 2000s. In the exactly. 2000s. It's oh, late, that's right. It's, it's, set in, it's, right. Right. it's set in the 2000s. There's no way that that number of people could go missing in that area yeah. in the cell phone era yeah. where Older shit's pinging off towers. So right. what is Rob Zombie's style of filmmaking? It's, it's, it's gritty. gritty. It's just gritty raw. Dirty and... Co- like, Realistic. Very grimy. In a way. It like I do agree with you completely because I like Rob Zombie. I like Rob Zombie's music, but I like some aesthetics that he has to his filmmaking. But I do feel like he needed someone to like he slap his hand and say, "Real him with him. Yeah, like no, we're not gonna do this. No, because some of the shit is like. The hotel it, scene in Devil's Rejects goes on far too long. Uh, yeah, far. T- a lot of his stuff far runs too, too long. long. I watched that fucking witch movie with which the, the, went nowhere. Uh, went, Lords went of Salem. No- oh my god! Oh, right. Lords yeah. of Salem. right, that was, was like, Rob Zombie. Yeah, Thirty One was dar- was garbage. It was, yeah, a lot of his visuals will be cool. Yeah, the but visuals like, are cool, but yeah. Where what is happening? So, he's so like, is he <laughs> is he any good in comedy? I've, I've never done it. He's never done a comedy. He's a comedy title. He's never done comedy before. And this is where I add in. Have y'all watched the Super Beasto? I did watch no. Super Beasto. No, I watched Super, Super Beasto. Yeah, now, Beasto. speaking of the comedy aspect, how did you feel about that? Super Beasto had his moments, and, and I definitely think that the comedy there, because I think Danny Trejo sold the lead role. Well, he's mm-hmm. comedy. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, when well, you, exactly. you have a, you had, he, there was someone quality. You got quality. someone, yeah, to do that. So, so then the monsters it, it, could work. It, it, it has some dark elements to it. It has yeah, some comedic yeah. elements to it. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Saying. It was a whole situation. I mean, it's, it's not everything he done hasn't been bad. Like, the, to yeah. me, his first Halloween was actually good. I was going to say, I, that, that. I yeah, do yeah. His, like that Halloween. His first Halloween was good. I, just, I agree. I just felt like the story he was trying to sell me with the Firefly family I just couldn't buy it. No, and so, then, and I, I just couldn't buy it. I just the, don't want to see his wife barber, in every movie. Wasn't though. he involved with the Barber whole situation? Where dude was like, oh, what is the name of that movie? And I love that movie. It was like um, the dude was the barber. He was like cutting people off, and 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 he was. They was making like a uh, uh, fool. 
Thank you, Swing oh, Child. Was, was that Rob Zombie? Shout no, out to Jake. Was that Rob Zombie? Zombie? No, that's not Rob no, Zombie. Not. Swinny oh, Todd bad. is uh, t- uh, that was a Tim Burton. Tim Burton, because yeah, because yeah. you know so, Tim, Tim Burton liked to play dress up with Johnny Depp. So if you think about the reason why I don't think the reason I don't think the monsters will work is because monsters was old. That's it was simpler times for film for TV shows. You can't put those simplistic moments in modern sentiments and make that work and, and, and act like we're just going to be able to look at that and say, okay, yeah. It's kind of mm. like Monsters was very, very stooges. Yeah. It was already like they, they had some moments that was like, it was, it was very... It was a different approach of comedy. It was, goddamn, it was the 50s, 60s. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Comedy. Frank so Sire, you would Mary take to... these characters and make them funny, a little slapstick... You know, TV sitcom. Yeah, you right. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You got the bumbling um, Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Frankenstein husband. Yeah, you got Grandpa, who's the vampire. And the Bride wife is vampire. Yeah. Yeah. The wife is a vampire. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And the son is a werewolf somehow. Yeah, yeah you know? right. Yeah, Suddenly. we don't even... Yeah. I, mean, I can't even get to the biology of that one. <laughs> <laughs> it just happened, It's man. lichens and vampires. But how does, how does an he's undead not, construct... He's a, he's a Frankenstein. He's a, he's a construct. He's a golem. So how does he reproduce? He yeah, he, he's he's much he's much different than a test. That's, 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 that's this the, is much more complicated than the Adam <laughs> yeah. family. Damn. Yeah. So I mean, so but you get that. So you know. Yeah. Now see, there's your logic. I was just gonna <laughs> the brain. What? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, because that's what you figure. How is this gonna work? It's not logically right. So I'm trying to figure out how this. they make a vamp- how they how a, a construct in a vampire make a werewolf. That's all. Awesome. Different <laughs> times. That's what I'm saying. It worked back then. Yeah. Then now it, it now. don't. It don't. You it can't. Don't you can't just gel. show us that and say okay. Right. That's. Exactly we're not gonna right, go with that. Right. So that's like Adam's family. I I I live near Adam's family for real. So yeah. I understand how that can work. There's some weird people out there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, that. see, the Adams family was just a bizarre family. Yeah, yeah they were very with, eccentric. With, with supernatural things that were around them, but they weren't Thing. supernatural. Well, she was. <laughs> well, she, they, they had magic. Wednesday. They were practitioners yeah. of magic. Yeah. Yeah. She was. And grandma. grandma. And grandma. And, 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 and the wife. And and I think yeah. the, the wife. Yeah, the, the wife's stuff. side of the family and were Gomez. witches or something. Gomez. Yeah, true. They were something. You can't leave fest around either. Thing was a fucking... But remember, they were... Freaks. They, That's they, freaks. they were practitioners of some sort yeah, they're of magic. Freaks. True. So if you think like that works, because you got the freak shows and you got these weird people out here that we can't explain. Exactly. That makes sense because that's realistic. With a it... bunch of monsters hanging out in the <laughs> car, <laughs> driving, going to the store. And then they had that crazy ass car with a coffin and all with that ca- yeah. drag right. racing. Like and that. then the regular fan, the regular cousin. Yeah. yeah. Oh, just right, a random right, regular fucking, Marilyn, right, I think her she, name was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just hanging out. So you, like, you yeah. can, she's just hanging out like I'm out. Hey, Freakazoid would make funny that shit. Yeah. Right anyway. it, you, <laughs> exactly. That makes me wonder too with like them revamping the Munsters and Adam's family. Cause that was all like a specific genre, like a Svengooly type era yeah. or whatever. Do you all think that they'll try to remake Elvira, even though she She's is still, still alive? Well, she, owns, she owns that. She owns oh, that name. Good for her. Yeah, just like oh. Spengooly. Yeah, yeah. See, she owns that cool name. Owning them. your shit. She owns that's that name. That is actually dope. That, that's, that's, that. 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 that's why there's never been so anything never Elvira been no, without her approval. No, oh my God. Yeah, no recast. Awesome. Nothing redone. Yeah, because yep. she owns that name. That's why there will never be another. Now she, I know in interviews that she has said that she is not opposed to passing on the title, but it will be to some. Who she approves of. Oh, that's smart. Good and for both think, of them. Her and we and don't need Lee. one. Hell yeah. And, and we, we don't, don't need, need one. No, I agree. I need. love Elvira. Yeah. And yeah. I used to watch her movies She's as a child. Enough. But that's my thing. Like, humor was from back then. Was she a then. vampire? No. No, she was just she like just a witchy. mistress of the dark. Yeah, witchy. She was, the, she was like there. Vincent Price. Yeah. It was <laughs> come, on, exactly. come on in. It was like right. cheesy Again, Spin comedy. Who was yeah, Spin yeah. But he still come on TV. But he yeah. owns that. Rich, Rich Coles, Coles owns that name. Yeah. yeah. Now, he's not the original Spin but right. he owns the name now. Yeah, he, exactly. he actually got it from him. He got the Yeah, yeah he got the title passed to him. Yeah, he got the title. He got the title passed to him. So. And Berwin. Yeah, yeah, and Berwyn, yeah. <laughs> thank you oh, for yeah. all, all the, the cards, cards and letters. 
<laughs> that was my shit. <laughs> hey, I used to watch that every week. Yeah, every, every, every week. week. That's yeah. why I first saw Night of the Creeps was Sven Oh, my wow. God. And I love Night of the Creeps. Hey, Night of the Creeps <laughs> is a good fucking so movie. so great. You know, and, and props to its spiritual successor, Slither, because Slither was True. Night of the Creeps. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Slither is Absolutely. wild as hell. Yeah. I like that's, that's <laughs> when you get all wormy in there. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was a class. Hey, James Gunn was on point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Slither was dope as fuck. Slither's <laughs> wild as hell. Yeah. And there, there was another movie that was just like that too, which was um, the other one where the kids in high school. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I with um, what it's Frodo called. Baggins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, uh, the faculty. Like, yeah, the faculty. Oh, the I faculty the was faculty. with with like Ursher. The faculty. Yeah, with Ursher. The fucking <laughs> right. faculty is good. Yeah, the yeah, faculty yeah. is good. Which yeah, I the faculty is, yeah. yeah, that movie is. good. Good. It is. It's real underrated. And yeah. it's one of the better ones. Is Usher in that movie? No, that's uh. Or, wait, wait, the fact which one? Which <laughs> oh, one had Usher in it? It was a movie with Usher in it though. That was like and, a horror. It was a horror. Usher no, was that horror. was faculty. It was because he got taken he over was, by the thing. He was the um, he was one the, of the like, basketball. Players. Oh my god, he was. He the was. Jock. Yes, because yeah, he, 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 he ends up getting killed. Yeah, yeah, Sorry, yeah. spoilers from 1990 fucking seven. Yeah, right. Look at all these young. Look at all these young actors that we now know are tortured adults. Right. <laughs> like all we know, all y'all are tortured hey, adults. Hey, <laughs> hey, Except Elijah yes. Wood still looks the same. Oh yeah, wow. fucking Claire Duvall. There, there goes Usher. 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 Yeah. Right. Usher. Yeah, Watch that, that movie. I forgot he was. He Watch sure that was movie. in it. Well, ain't that Confessions era? That was one of the. That was one of the first <laughs> that movies back then. That was before Confessions. Yeah, that was young. Well, that, young was, he was Usher. that was like teenage. Yeah, that was. That was still. I just called me a Mac. Oh. Mac Usher. Right. It was way before Confessions. Usher. Yeah, them cats in that movie was actually smart. They were. They, they were the only ones to figure out what the fuck was going on, and they handled their fucking business. Uh huh. Yeah. That movie. I, I do. True. True. That is yeah, that true. That movie was good. That is true. Well, guys, it's that time, man. It's been a dope show, but yes, we gotta yes, it's, yes. we gotta let people go home. Yeah, right. Go, but before go we go, you know, we, we, got got we gotta we gotta plug the haymarket. Yeah, That's why I wanted to make sure we get the haymarket. Yo. It's time. Yeah, man. Full time. So. If you weren't listening to the beginning of the show, if you weren't paying attention to everything we've been posted on social media, everything we've been talking about, we have a residency, Haymarket Brewery, and we are starting on July 3rd. So open gaming, three to six, there'll be D&D, there'll be board games, whatever you want to do, come through, Spades. hang out with us, Spades. All types of games. Uh, Bones, everything. Monopoly, sorry, somebody. Video games. Yeah, some, gonna it, it, yeah we're going to do all that. We're going to do all There's that. pool tables in the spot, darts. And, yeah. then from, and then from six to nine, we're going to do, do a version of the show right there live right there. with you guys we're do in the attendance. Live podcast. Live and direct. Seven, three, debuts, and it's the anniversary. It's the anniversary. It's our oh, one-year yeah. anniversary party. It's a lot going on so with the Fly Nerd Group. So it's a lot going on with the Fly Nerd Group. And, and, and we are really, really just getting started. Uh, shout out to Herman Hobson, who will be the other DM uh, running stuff for y'all. So, Got to give him his props, too. Shout out to J-Dot. He, he's going to be there spinning. J-Dot, J-Dot, you know, we're going to be doing a lot of live things, you know, so we, we hope to have everybody out. We hope to, that the IMG people come and hang out with us, too. Jake, you and your friends, welcome. Absolutely. Sean Rocker, you and the family. Moe's, you watching? Y'all come on down, Please hang out with us. us. You Facebook know, fans. Especially on the year, on the anniversary, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We all, you know, we all did this. Turn, we're all going to take shots. <laughs> no, I'm just all the Facebook fans, are put it out there now. Instagram. They gonna all come right. to no, you yeah. for the shots. I mean, hey, yeah. hey. If, if I didn't say I was buying uh, them. I said <laughs> if a hundred people want to do shots, you gotta do shots a hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, you never know. But wow. yeah, we 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 appreciate y'all. We love y'all for helping us get this thing uh, up and going and making it a movement. Um, the people out there who have supported us, we couldn't do this without y'all. So we just want to make sure you know we give y'all some love. Y'all know who y'all are. So many to name. We ain't got, you know, saying we'll we'll do a we'll do some proper credits with some names on the list at another juncture. But it takes a team to do this, and we are yes. we we got a team. We a family here. So, you know, love all y'all. Been doing this for a year. I'm proud of this, and uh, I can't wait to see it blow even more. How y'all yeah, feel about way. doing the fly nerd? This has been a year. How you feel about? It? Um, I'm super excited, and I love doing this, and it doesn't even feel like. I don't know. It doesn't feel, you know how like people will be kind of stressed out to go like have extra stuff to do outside of work and things like that. This right. feels natural and it just feels like right. And I think that it's exciting because I feel like there is 
so much more stuff to happen and we have done a lot in a year i mean it has literally just been a year and we have done so much in this time so indeed, indeed. i'm happy to be here Abby, how you how you feel? One how year. You feel, how you feel about well, it? Well, yeah, I, I feel great, man. I feel absolutely great. I feel I feel um, opportunities are knocking, and I, I'm grateful to be in this position. So, you know, uh, it's time to just uh, make take this thing even further. That's yes. how I feel. Well, I feel it's in my name, ambitious. So, mm. this is just the beginning. Get them, Star Scream. I guarantee you. Think about if y'all if y'all been watching and y'all been paying attention to us, y'all know what we've done in a year, and it's like a thousand years to y'all. It's like mm. a day to the God. So Ooh, yeah, oh, we move on that the God like, speed. Okay, yeah, oh. we 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 getting it in. Yo, I'm this studying is... 120 right now. Call me <laughs> <God out. laughs> we just getting started. I mean, for real, like we we we've had an amazing year. We have. Like we we conquered C2E2. Yeah. And <laughs> I mean, we bigger than that now. We, got, a, whoop, got a panel our first stars. time. Right. Out like the gate. what? Yeah, got like a panel out the gate. We we did we did the Pharaoh Monch interview. We did the, the Kim um the Kim interview. Whoop. Shout out to her because she's doing her thing like right now. We we we've been moving. We've we been hey moving. we did the um um what's his name from High Row? Casual. casual. Casual interview. I don't Absolutely. think, did we release that? Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, the no, casual we interview did. went up. Yeah. We had it. yeah. But we moved a lot from that until so, now you're doing Q&As at motherfucking yeah, at, at, at film yes. positions. Yes. Right. You know what I mean? The Fly Nerd Get group for that. invited to host and doing stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, we doing And it's that. just more because we're going to grow into all these other conglomerates and politics and all that shit. So it's all, it is what it is. Yeah. This is what it's designed for, and this is what we built for. So we're gonna continue moving. Me personally, I feel great. You know what I mean? Like impressed. <laughs> Same, yeah. We, it's, I'm like, yeah. Yo, we've been we are still here. Yeah. We yeah, are still, we are still here. Kind of Morpheus, <laughs> and we still going. We still pushing and shoving. So, um, yo, yeah. motherfucker, get out the way. Have yeah. Ooh, that's it. All that's right, it. and and one love to IMG for putting up with us for a whole year. Yeah. Wow. Thank yeah, you, Sean Rocker, for putting yes. up for. And, and, and by the way, this is this is a new one right here. I just made this two days ago. Bro. I'm, I'm just watching y'all rock to it. Oh, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The trickery. Right. <laughs> All right. But so yeah. with that being said, say less. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> just bye-bye.